12 months ago, I received a giant in the post. With her almost 3 cm long body, she's one of the biggest ants in the world. This was my challenge, raise a colony of giant bull ants, successfully keep them safe, and most importantly, don't let them escape. And after 12 months, I'm ready to tell the story of heartbreak, lost hope, and dreams coming true. This is how I kept the giant bull ant as a pet. First, let's rewind time 12 months back when a package was delivered to my door. A giant box, but also heavily damaged. Was it over before it had started? I needed to know. I opened the box and quickly found a home for the queen. But more importantly, a carefully wrapped test tube could be seen. Hidden inside, the biggest bull ant in the world. Alive and well. And even greater news, her three tiny babies had survived the long journey. I quickly set up a more permanent home for the young family. Carefully, I let the queen inside. She quickly gathered up her babies and put them safely inside her brand new home. She ventured out and explored her new surroundings. This would be the place for the queen to raise her family. As the queen settled down, I fed the colony some food. And although the larvae were loving the cricket, just a few days later, all three were gone, eaten by the queen. What happened? Sadly, we'll never know. Luckily, the newly named queen Brittany wasn't ready to give up. I offered her some jelly and Brittany loved it. A beautiful sight as this giant queen took on the feast. A month went by and a brand new batch of eggs could be seen inside the nest. The eggs quickly hatched into tiny larvae and from here they would grow. Brittany gathered the food and the now huge larvae loved it all. Day by day I watched them grow, but this wasn't meant to be. In the span of just a few weeks, the second generation of babies would go from seven to just four. At this stage I was scared Brittany would eat them all, so I took it upon myself to give them a brand new nest, a new chance for the babies to survive. And in this brand new nest something happened. Brittany seemed a lot calmer for the first time. And one day, I captured this. Brittany had put some small debris on top of the now huge larvae. This was a sign the larvae was ready to spin a cocoon. The larvae was desperately trying to grip on to the debris, spinning a life-saving cocoon. If she would fail, she would die and be gone forever. But worst of all, Brittany couldn't do anything but deliver the debris for the larvae. All we could do was hope the larvae would survive spinning a cocoon. And a day later, I nervously went to check to see if they had survived. And what a joy that spread through my body when I saw a nearly finished cocoon. The final inside layer was still being made, but I knew at this stage the larvae would sure survive. Hang on! I see you out there, you're enjoying this video and yet you haven't subscribed yet. It really helps the channel, so if you can spare a moment, please subscribe. Over the next few days, the other larvae soon followed, and soon, all four larvae were now hidden inside the newly made cocoons, developing into hardy bull ants. I ended up waiting more than 45 days before finally, after 10 months of keeping Britney the bull ant queen, a brand new worker could be seen. A sight I would never forget. The orange body was a sign that the worker was still in danger. Her exoskeleton hadn't hardened yet and at this stage she would be very vulnerable for danger. But Brittany was no longer alone. Busy protecting her only worker, a young colony was forming. One, no two, no three new workers could soon be seen. All the cocoons were gone and three workers had joined the family. But hang on, this was month 10 and I said this was a 12 month video. What more have happened? Well, Brittany the Queen laid a new batch of eggs that soon hatched into tiny larvae that now have grown to a reasonable size. Once more, a massive batch of eggs led to only three big larvae remaining. But if they survive, this young colony is surely thriving. The young workers had now taken on the job of hunting and gathering food for them all. The Queen's job was now to relax, lay eggs 
and try to keep the baby safe. In just 12 months, a lone queen from Anne and Co arrived to my care and have since flourished in this little nest from Wakushi. And I am for once excited to see what will happen next. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, share the video with a friend and thank you all very much for watching.